A network diagram is a precedence diagram with activity durations. The point of the network diagram is to show the activity path required to fulfill the project journey, and most importantly, to show the dependency and links between activities. Before we get into the intricacy of the project evaluation review technique, PERT, and the critical path method, CPM, we need to understand the basics of network diagramming. Network diagrams are the step project managers take after they've considered project lists of tasks through the perspective of a Gantt chart or other similar task management formats. There is no need to get worried with this aspect of the course. We're going to take things gradually and thoroughly, and you will soon see that this part of project management can be fun. There are essentially two types of network diagram, activity on arc, AOA, and activity on node, AON. Activity on arc, AOA. Activity on arc diagrams show activity durations and details on the arc, the arrows, in the diagram, as opposed to activity on node diagrams, which show activity durations and details on the node. When considering network diagrams, there are certain commonalities or rules that apply to most diagrams. One of these is the fact that when we use these diagrams, we move from the left to the right through the network. Furthermore, we move sequentially through a path. So for example, in the path seen in this slide, task C can only be started once task B has been completed, and task B can only be started once task A has been completed. We call this the rule of precedence. There is sometimes a need for dummy activities in activity on arc diagrams. This dummy activity is required because a type of break is required to ensure that an activity is not started before it should be. This is easier to understand with the aid of a diagram. Note the times have been added. On this slide, we can see there is a dummy activity. The dotted line indicates the dummy activity. Note that this is not a real activity. It is simply in place to ensure that activity C does not start before activities A and B have been completed. There are a number of reasons why this dummy activity might be necessary. For example, there might be limited resources available to the project manager and the two tasks might require the same resources. For example, the two activities might require the use of the same machinery or staff member. This dummy activity prevents task C being started when it shouldn't. Project managers should always be mindful of different paths and the resources that each path requires. Activity on node, AON. The difference between activity on node and activity on arc is both in the method and in the clarity in which information relating to each activity can be displayed. The arrows on activity on node all show dependencies. With activity on node diagrams, there is no need for dummy activities. As with activity on arc, multiple activity paths can run sequentially if there are no dependencies. Activity on node allows for extra information to be held in the node. This makes it useful, some would say preferential, as a framework for more complex projects. What is the prime information that we need in the node? Duration of the activity. This is established through experience, estimates, benchmarking, or probabilities, for example and the start and finish times for the activity. But more precision is needed. This is because activities take time to complete. The difference between the start and finish time for an activity 
might be days or even weeks. So one figure is simply not accurate enough for calculations because it begs the question, what does this figure relate to exactly? Because of this, a set of times have to be established and the relationship between these times can then be utilized for project calculations. This slide articulates the times we need to utilize. It's the relationships between the figures that will enable us to complete our calculations and establish project management control models. These times allow calculations to be far more specific.